Yeah, this is a Tina Four. The calm jelly. You see the flashing, current flashing lights. Those are not actual lights, but they're rows of cilia that undulate wow. in waves, and they just reflect the, the light, refract the light, and look at rainbow colors. Uh, so this is Vilu's disco ball right here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is a big sponge. You can see the width of the top part of the sponge is at least 40 centimeters, so it's like more than a foot wide and also more than two feet tall. It's a bolosomony in the family Euplectelidae, but it's really weird. All of these osculum right here, all of these holes are really different. We know very, very little about this. This is a case of a benthic siphonophore. We saw several of these uh, kind of animals floating around the water column yesterday. These kind of siphonophores are different. These ones tend to live on the seafloor. They're not very common to observe. Yeah, these anemones are Venus flytrap anemones. You can see why they got their name, wow. because they kind of look like that plant, Venus flytrap. So um, these are really beautiful uh, creatures. Oh, look at their clothes up. Oh, look at it. So does it trap prey like this, Santiago? Yeah. yeah. So the tentacles uh, of this anemone have stinging cells, cnidocysts, that have microscopic harpoons that inject venom. They can also use them just to grab, hold on to prey and don't let them go, but also at the same time inject venom. What you're looking at is one of the really bizarre amphipods that attacks salps, uh, starts eating them, and then uses uh, remnants of the salps to construct a house. The uh, females will have eggs that hatch, and the young will eat this house eventually. Oh. watch this all day but <laughs> part of the pectoral fins, the fins, fan-shaped fins on the side, have thickened free rays, and this fish actually uses those to walk around on the bottom. So those things that you see under the fish, they are like little thin legs, are actually part of the fin. They're a really interesting fish with a lot of unusual morphological features. These are hydroids, very closely related to most jellyfishes. You see in the center, it has another group of tentacles that surround the mouth. You can see the structures are very intricate and unusual, very alien-looking life forms that we find in the deep sea. 